Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to do your daily reading for Wednesday, August the 8th. I want to say I love you guys. I love you. I love you. You guys are amazing. Thanks for everything. Also, thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who was patient. Um, I got a, a cold or whatever. My I had lost my voice. I was feeling good. I had to get the boys ready for school. I had errands to run. I had so much stuff to do. So, again, thanks everyone for being patient. I really do appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Also, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I want to say thank you and I love you to all my new subscribers. I'm right around the corner from 20K, guys. So, I'm super excited. I love you guys. Thanks for all the growth with the channel. You guys are amazing. I've only been on YouTube for about eight months. And to see myself grow like this is amazing. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Okay. I couldn't ask for better subscribers. So I just want to let you guys know you guys are amazing. 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 All right. So let's hop into this daily reading. Let's see what's going on. For some of you guys, like just feeling the energy i feel like a lot of you guys are feeling unsure about something and if you're feeling unsure or like you're feeling uncertain or you don't know what's going on i feel like a lot of truth is going to be revealed or going to be told or you guys are about to see the truth in a situation you guys are about to see the bigger picture in something a lot of you guys are you know looking at things from another perspective so I mean, that's just what I'm feeling. We do have this eclipse on the 11th, so three more days. That's also the full moon as well. So this will be a great time for you guys to manifest, 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 okay? Especially with the eclipse being here. The eclipse is about, like, letting go of things, but it's also about bringing things back, you know, um, or realigning things, okay? So if you guys are dealing with someone from your past or your ex or whoever, and you guys been dealing with each other and it's retrograde and you guys are still getting along and things are great. With this eclipse, it's going to further push you guys into alignment so that things could shift for the positive and really change. If you guys are not getting any feedback, you're not hearing from them, it's still no communication and stuff like that, then they're probably going to be eclipsed out. Okay? And that's when a new soulmate or someone new is going to come in. For most of you guys, you guys already have someone new in your life or around you. Um, or you guys have suitors and stuff like that. Or just a few people that you're talking to more than likely if you're talking to like two or three people one of those people are going to be the person that you're going to be in alignment with and move forward with it just all depends on you your situation all right so let's hop into this daily reading and let's see what we got for some of you guys it's like you don't want to let something go or you don't want to let someone go you're holding on and with this eclipse it's like a tower moment. They're going to just be eclipsed out regardless if you want them to be in your life or not because they're not meant to be there for some of you guys. Just for a few of you guys, you guys are just holding on to someone that you know is no longer meant to be in your life. They no longer mean anything. It's like they're, I'm not going to say they don't mean anything to you. They're still love. They're still, they're still feelings, but you know that this person is meant to be, you know, it's not right or they know what one of y'all know okay and they're going to be eclipsed out all right especially if you guys if you guys broke up around the eclipse and everything that happened last year and there's still no communication and you guys aren't talking or you guys still can't get each other understand each other you guys aren't on the same page and all that it's still like third party energy lies deception deceit yeah they're going to be eclipsed out or they need to be and if you don't eclipse them out the universe is going to just give you a tower moment and eclipse them out for you okay so let's hop into this reading i think i've shuffled up enough i keep seeing a higher fit in the queen of swords while i'm shuffling so like i said somebody's about to cut somebody out for some of you guys you guys can be ending marriages or whoever you're married to maybe you want a divorce you want a divorce okay the queen of swords can be just cutting someone out okay just in general Let's see what we got. Let me move my grape juice. 
Oh my God, y'all, it's so good. And it's Welch's too. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. So like I told you guys, there's about to be a lot of things that are shifting and changing. Also with relationships, because see, we have the devil, we have temperance, we have the lover's card. So like I said, a lot of you guys were dealing with someone who was in their lower ego, who was very toxic, who was negative, who was stuck in their ways, okay? Um, who kept you in third parties, who were, they were lying, they were cheating, they could have just been friends with benefits. But we have temperance, and a lot of them have healed this. A lot of them have let that go. A lot of them are no longer refusing to, you know, let it go or not compromising it. We have the lover's card. For a lot of you guys, this person has changed due to you or they have changed due to the love between you guys. Or because they want this love to, to be, you know, whole or because they want to, you know, take things to the next step. You guys will already see, like, changes with that person here, Okay. And the devil would have been both of you guys. But one of you guys have broke free from this devil energy, which was leaving one of you guys to still need to heal and find balance, you know, in the situation. And then that's why we have the lover's card, you guys back together. So one of you guys are healing. You're going through a transformation. You're getting rid of things that no longer serve you. You're coming out of this lower ego. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a um, Capricorn or an Aquarius. I mean, Aquarius. A Capricorn, a Sagittarius, or a Gemini. These are all major arcana. Okay? So someone is definitely going through a huge transformation. Someone definitely has some inner demons. Okay? And they needed to be released. They needed to be let go. All right, and the only way you guys are going to come together and have this relationship is if this person does their work. But like I said, a lot of you guys, this person has either already did the work or they're doing the work now. Okay, but you will see the results. You will see, you will know, okay? You will know if this person has changed. You will know if you guys are going to move forward. All right, so starting out, we have the page of wands. We have the four of wands. We have the prince of, the princess of pentacles, which is the page of pentacles. We have the king of wands. Yeah someone's taking action here we have the king of wands aries leo sagittarius and the first card we have out is the page of wands this is about a new beginning this is starting over this is about good news coming in so you guys are waiting on good news are you guys been waiting to hear from someone and it's about an offer and it's about the foundation here the page of pentacles is about them making an offer this also is a karmic tie and connection so some of you guys did have a karmic tie and connection to someone that has woken up. We see that at the bottom of the deck, they have woken up. They're out of this devil energy. Or they're releasing themselves or shifting out of this devil energy. Going into this temperance energy. Or they would have already been in the temperance energy. And they're bringing you guys back together here. Okay? Now, this person, you guys used to argue with them a lot. Or if there wasn't arguments, you guys just didn't see eye to eye. For some of you guys, this king of wands could have been like a player you know, a cheater pulling the wool over your eyes. Um, this can also be your energy as well. And then we have the four of wands. The foundation couldn't stay stable. I feel like you guys had a couple of tower moments within the relationship. Or you always just felt like you had to keep things balanced and stable within the foundation here with this person. But they want a new beginning. They don't want you to be on your own. Meaning like they don't want you to be within this foundation feeling alone. You know, they want the love to come back to where it was. So, for some of you guys, the love just wasn't the same anymore. We have fire and earth energy up here so far. But they want to start over. They want to start the relationship over. They want to start the foundation over. They want to start everything over. And that's what the Page of Wands is about. That's the first card out. The Page of Wands is, again, new beginning, starting over. A lot of you guys could be relocating with this person. They can be re relocating to you. You guys can be moving in the same same city. city. You know, just a different area or um, like different states. The Page of Pentacles is also about traveling. Someone could be traveling for a job or there's a job opportunity that's out of state that you or someone else is going to take. And it's going to shift them into the King of Wands. Okay? The King of Wands will be an entrepreneur. So starting their own business, branding their self or whatever job this is, they're just going to be the boss. They're going to be in control. You know, they're going to have the upper hand. So, loving the energy so far. Everything seems positive so far, okay, with this person coming in. Now, let's get some more information on them. Why is this page of wands here? 
we have the hangman. Yeah. So whoever you guys were dealing with, they had an awakening. Whoever you guys were dealing with, they went through some type of spiritual awakening. And they also went through a transformation. The devil, temperance, the lover's card. Okay? They did a lot of work. They went within. This person has surrendered. They let go. So they're looking at things from another perspective now. Which is why they're opening up communication. Which is why they want to communicate with you. Which is why they want this new beginning here. Okay? For some of you guys, this is someone new coming into your life. And remember guys, everyone that we meet is karmic. Okay? It's up to us how we balance our energy with that person. And for some of us, we have certain people that are brought into our life that we have to learn lessons with. Okay? Or they're brought in our life to teach us a lesson or we're in their life to teach them a lesson. But every relationship is karmic. Now, when you guys get to the life partner and stuff, that's when you guys do see things from another perspective. You do go through the awakening. You're willing to compromise with that person and understand love and know what unconditional love is and you guys will both be in that same energy okay you guys wouldn't have to go through this awakening and transformation and all that because that would have been something that you guys both have already been through or went through and that's what's bringing you guys together okay now with this four of wands we have the prince of swords here okay So, with this Prince of Swords, you guys could be dealing with an air sign. I feel like this person has finally heard you out. Okay? They finally heard you out. They finally understand what you want. Yeah, see, we have the tower. I knew it was coming. Because whoever you guys were dealing with, with this Knight of Swords here, it's like... Because both of you guys are coming out the tower here. Someone opened their eyes. That's when the awakening happened. So that would have been them opening their eyes. King of Wands. Yeah, it was the King of Wands. Because the King of Wands, we have the crown. It's the same crown here as the King of Wands, if you see. So your person would have went through an awakening. Okay? Or they're going through an awakening. And they're realizing how things happen. This is them opening up their eye. You know, going through this awakening. Seeing things different. Seeing things from another perspective here. And they heard you out. And it's not even that they heard you out. They seen how you felt. They experienced how you felt. So for a lot of you guys, your person is now going through what you went through. Or they're experiencing the pain, all of that, you know. So they're going through this awakening. They're experiencing all this hurt, this pain, all of that. And the King of Swords is coming with, not the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, he's coming with his sword up. Okay, you notice he's not on a horse because his energy isn't scattered. He's not all over the place. He's not going to be, you know, straightforward and direct and to the point. He's not like the regular Knight of Swords that are in the tarot decks. You know, um, this Knight of Swords here, he's coming in and he's going to speak clearly. There's going to be clear communication. It's going to be, and it's going to be like direct, but it's not going to be like a blunt energy okay or he's not going to be um speaking blunt like you know it's kind of hard for me to explain or this may be explained so with this knight of swords okay let me show you the regular knight of swords so the regular knight of swords we know like they come in fast full of force you know they're ready to argue they're ready to start some trouble some drama you know they're all over the place their energy is scattered you know they say whatever whenever however that's how the Knight of Swords is. They're very cutting. They don't care how they talk to you, how they approach you. Um, and it's air energy, and they move really fast. You know, right here, look, the Knight of Swords. This is the regular Knight of Swords. Now look at this Knight of Swords, and look at this Knight of Swords. This person is very calm. He's collective. He's matured. He has on his jacket. He has his tire on. It's like he's ready to talk some business here. But... This person has grown up a little bit, even though they're still in the Knight of Swords energy. And the only reason I'm saying that is because they're going to talk to you. There's going to be communication. But what they want to talk to you about is how they made you mad and why they made you mad. Because whoever this is, they don't want to see you mad anymore. They don't want you to be, to be mad. They don't want you to still be mad 
for all the things they did to you, everything they said to you, how they made you feel, because you've already expressed to them over and over that you want more from this. You want more out of the relationship. When are you going to get more? When are you going to do more? When are you going to offer me more? When are you going to stop making me mad? When are you going to stop lying? When are you going to stop cheating? When are you going to stop telling me that you're not out with your friends and I'm finding out on Facebook that you're taking pictures and I see you in the background drinking and it's some girl with her arm around her neck or whatever the case is I don't care whatever the story is the case the scenario y'all take out it resonates and they're seeing that they are the reason why you guys kept having these tower moments okay so this person is going through an awakening as they're going through this awakening they're looking at things from another perspective they're surrendering they're letting go they're releasing this devil energy they're healing they're releasing their inner demons, temperance, and the devil to bring you guys back together because you're the one they want. They're in love. They're very much in love. They've always been in love. Okay? They never could deny that. Even if they tried, to you they may have denied it. But they know damn well they couldn't deny the love that they have for you. Okay? So that's why they're coming to the foundation, the four wants, to speak clearly to you, but maturely, civil, as an adult. Okay? And they want to discuss with you everything that has happened. So for some of you guys, you guys have been waiting on truth and clarity. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this person to, to be honest and direct. You guys have been wanting this. You guys have been manifesting this. You guys have been hoping that it was going to come. A lot of you guys want closure. And I tell you guys all the time, closure is a lesson. Nobody owes you closure. Nobody owes you anything. No one needs to tell you why they did something, how they did it, the reason behind why they did it closure is a lesson and a lot of people don't understand that and it's a lesson because you hold on to it wanting closure and wanting understanding and clarity from someone else when you can find that within yourself your higher self okay so going within connecting with your higher self asking yourself for answers getting truth getting clarity from within okay so whatever situation you're in i don't care what the experience is Closure is something that we have to do on our own. No one owes us closure. Because when we do stuff to people and they want closure from us, and we're like, nope, I'll never speak to them again. Nope, I'll never say nothing to them. Nope, I'll never be her friend again. Nope, forget him. It's people that want closure from us. So we have to look at it from both sides. We have to look at it from, look at it from different points of views or from another perspective here. Okay? So a lot of you guys have been wanting closure. And it's like, you want it so bad, you're going to get the closure. But the closure is going to come with the truth. Okay, so I'm going to be honest now. A lot of you guys, you're going to get your closure. You're going to get the truth. It's going to create a tower moment. Okay, this person has already seen how they affected the relationship. They know, like I said, they're going to be honest. They're going to be direct. They're going to be straightforward. I don't feel like this person is going to be blunt and nasty. Like I said, as the red knight of swords, you know, like, oh, I did it because of this. Da -da -da -da. You know, like I said, he has a suit on, you know, he's ready to talk. But they're going to be honest. They're going to be direct. They don't want you mad. But for some of you guys, it's going to create a tower. Because you're going to finally get your clothes. You're going to, you're going to finally get your truth. But it's going to be so unexpected. It's going to shake things up. It can shake things up for the good, for the worse. What their intentions are and what they're coming to do is to start a new beginning. Tell you the truth. Bring back the foundation that they put down, the tower. Bring it back up. Rebuild. Make you an offer. Take some action. Now, let's see why this tower is here. The Empress. Yeah, there's going to be a shakeup. This is you, the Empress. You're going to have a tower moment. And it's like you're not going to understand. For some of you guys, you're just still not going to understand. Even after they explain it to you and you guys know I love you, you're not going to understand. Why are you not going to understand and why is there going to be a tower moment? And the reason why you guys are not going to understand and there's going to be a tower moment in, I'm going to be honest, a lot of you guys need to get out of your feelings. If this is someone that you want, you have to separate your feelings and emotions from it. And I'm not being hard. I'm being so honest. Because you're going to be, there's going to be a tower moment, but on your end, you're the empress. They want the new beginning with you, okay? And when I ask why, we have the ace of pentacles, we have the sun, we have the king of cups. And the reason why is because this delay of happiness a lot of you guys feel like it took them too long. A lot of you guys have healed already and you're happy and you're ready to shift and move forward. But you have been wanting this closure from this person. 
And it's like now that you're getting your closure, you're healed and you're happy. Now they're coming with commitment and they're coming with love. They're telling you how they feel. They're expressing all their feelings and emotions. And you're just like, okay, well, why are you doing this now? Why are you finally opening up and telling me how you feel? And it's going to be a terror moment from within you guys. Okay? And like I said, if you want this relationship and you want it to move forward, then you guys are going to have to get out of your feelings here. Okay? Even though they're coming to you, King of Cups, wanting to express their emotions and feelings, a lot of you guys are going to allow them to create a tower moment from within you between the both of you guys. Okay? Because this is something that you have always wanted from this person. And now, like I said, after most of you guys have moved on or you let them go or you release them, you're like, okay, you want to take action, King of Wands. You want to start over and rebuild the foundation. You want to make me an offer. You know, you want commitment because the Ace of Pentacles, this is about marriage, moving in together, things being solid. The Sun, the most positive card in the deck, which means that they really are ready to grow this relationship, grow this foundation, marriage, children, a family man, King of Cups. They're expressing their love, their feelings, their emotions. They're overly emotional because that's what the King of Cups does. And they're taking action. Okay? And you're just like, where were you at five months ago? Where were you at six months ago? Where were you at a year ago? And there's going to be a tower moment, and it's going to be from you guys. Now, like I said, if you guys want this to work out, if you want this person, then you guys have to separate your feelings and your emotions from the past and let go of the past. Because even though you guys have healed and you guys have moved on, and you guys want this new beginning, whether it be with them or with someone else, a few of you guys have not fully let go. You guys have healed, but you're still not looking at things from another perspective here. Okay? So it's like you still don't understand. You're still kind of lost in this situation and that's because you guys want closure okay so let's release that because closure is like fears all right so let's release closure let's not depend on closure let's not want closure let's not say oh i have to have closure i need to have answers they need to tell me the truth they need this but again like i said a lot of you guys have been wanting this and it's finally coming but you're going to have a tower moment okay for some of you guys, the tower moment is going to be positive. Because like I said, if this is someone that you want, you guys can be waiting on a fire sign or a water sign. We do have Leo here, King of Wands, the Tower Scorpio energy, King of Cups. All right. We have Earth energy. We have all the energy, well, all the signs up here. Okay. Now, for some of you guys, this is going to shift to the positive. Because your delay of happiness is finally going to grow into happiness, the happiness that you've always wanted with this person. The person that you know is in love with you, King of Cups, that has always been in love with you, that has never really showed or expressed their emotions and feelings. And now it's like, not only are they showing love, they're offering commitment here as well. So this tower is going to be for the negative or for the positive here. Now, let's clarify this King of Wands. Let's hop into him. Let's see what he's about. Let's see what this King of Wands is talking about. Why is this King of Wands here? The Three of Cups, the Four of Swords. Yeah, he wants to bring the relationship together. This king of wands wants a reunion. And it's other the ace of pentacles in the sun card. Okay? Then we have the four of swords. They're the ones who broke up with you. They're the ones who put the relationship to the side. They're the ones who went and messed around with other people. Four of swords. They realized the other people that they were messing with or dealing with was not you. And that's why they want to bring this relationship back together. Three of cups, four of swords. They also healed or they're healing. Okay? They retreated themselves. And as they retreated themselves, they retreated themselves from everyone, everybody. For some of you guys, they like retreated themselves, like actually went and talked to someone, retreated themselves because they knew they needed guidance and help. They knew that they needed help in order to bring this relationship together. Or for some of you guys, that's what they're going to talk about too. They're going to be like, okay, well, let's go get counseling. Let's go get something. Let's work things out. You know, I really do need a retreat. I need to let go. I need to disconnect from the world. Or I need to let go of things that I've been holding on to. I need to retreat just in general. I need to just let go. Okay? But they want a reunion. They want to bring things back together. Now, this King of Cups, let's hop into his energy and let's see what he's about. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person kept you confused. Okay? They kept you just... This person just like kept you so confused. You didn't know what they wanted. They were back and forth. They were in love with you. They were in love with someone else. As the empress, they could have been they could have been wanting to go back to the mother of their child. 
then they wanted to be with you you know or you could have a child with them this person was very confused okay and they were so confused that it exhausted them out they just couldn't take it anymore they were like i have to make a decision and after they went through all these cups with the seven of cups they're just like damn i went through all of these cups just to see myself still in love with the same person i was in love with before i touched these other seven cups or before i walked away before i hurt this person before i went through this awakening you know before i made this offer you know and they're finally seeing that this king of cups is okay and the king of cups is also looking at the fact that for some of you guys they could have thought that you were like either delusional or were creating illusions and stuff because you were seeing and feeling and looking at things differently in the relationship so now they're like looking and they're thinking they're like dang everything she said was right or everything he said was right that's not a lie that's the truth oh they really did love me oh this person really was trying to break us up oh this really did happen they're seeing all of that now as this king of cups and it's making them even more emotional okay but it's making them emotional to the point where this person is like you know what i gotta fix things i need to shift into this king of wands energy but also be in my king of cups energy because i need to let this person know that i love them and i'm ready to take action and i'm ready to be the man or the woman that they always wanted and needed and prayed and asked for okay with this king of cups king of wands son the ace of pentacles now let's go over this tower one more time because they know they created this mess this drama this chaos everything that happened between you guys and i'm not going to say that you guys that you guys were innocent and it's not your fault because both of you guys are coming out of this tower their crown is falling off because they lost their status here meaning that they demoted themselves as the man in the relationship lowering their standards not being the man not playing the role or not being the woman not playing their role which means that they weren't either being the father figure they weren't being the the husband the boyfriend they weren't probably taking out the trash they weren't helping you with the bills it, it could have been anything but this person knows that whatever their status was whatever their title was whatever they went into this relationship doing being asking speaking of wanting they were not keeping up that title they were not doing that and they see that and that's why their crown is off, okay? Because only a man wears the crown, okay? Only the true man deserves the crown, all right? So let's clarify this tower one more time. Why is this tower here? The Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Four of Cups. And exactly what I just said, you were in love with them, you were honest, you were devoted, you expressed to them how you felt, you was there for them emotionally. You kept the foundation together. All you really wanted was their love. The six of wands. You wanted the relationship to deepen on an emotional level. You wanted to be appreciated. You wanted to be recognized. You wanted them to really love you for who you were. You're the queen of cups and the empress. So we already know you are about money. You were taking care of the foundation. The, imp the empress is like very abundant. She could be an entrepreneur. She's a great mother. And you just wanted them to say, like, thank you, or I love you, or I appreciate everything you do for me and the kids, or it doesn't matter, whatever it could be. But they were failing to do that, which is why when they came out the tower, their crown came off. You don't see your empress hat coming off. You see she, got, she has her hat on. Is yours off? Did yours fall out of the tower? No, because even though you came out of the tower with them and you created some of the mess, the drama, the chaos, it could have been the words you said, how you acted, what you did. You are just still devoted. You are still honest. You are still there emotionally. Okay? You still really expressed to them how you felt. Even if you were nasty, the love was there. It was genuine. It was honest. It was truthful. It was trusting. Okay? And all you wanted was, like I said, a thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. And you weren't getting that. You felt abandoned. You felt rejected in the relationship. And that's what also caused you to go into this codependency. The Queen of Cups. Okay? Overly emotional. Not able to control yourself, your emotions, your feelings. Being a drama queen. Feelings getting the best of you. Okay? I can just see it in my head for some of you guys. You guys were just throwing away clothes, cutting up clothes, throwing dishes, getting mad, calling her phone 15 times, sending messages, 
Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that. All the things that us females do that we cannot deny as females that we do. I can picture it and see it in my head already. I already do. Because in the time where he's looking down at her and look, she's looking up at him. And you're looking like, okay, yeah, both of us are falling out this tower, but I'm still looking at your ass. You're like, I'm still seeing you. I'm still watching you. So as y'all are falling out the tower, your attention is still on them. They're looking elsewhere. It's like they're looking down, but to the right. And you're still, you're like this, looking straight up at them. Like, yep, we've fallen out this tower, but you're saying all the last words here in this tower here. Because your emotions and your feelings got the best of you and you couldn't, you couldn't hold it back. You couldn't hide how you felt anymore. When it came to this person. And that's why this person is going through this awakening. This person is looking at things from another perspective. And like I said. And I'm not going to tell you guys. Because I see it in the comment boards every day. I'm not telling you guys to take this person back. You don't have to. New love is around the corner. I can already see it. Two of cups. New love is there. Okay. Because for some of you guys. The love is. it. The relationship went sour. There's no fixing it. It's no coming back. You know. But for those of you who wanted clarity. That wanted truth. Who wanted closure. You're going to get that. And there's going to be a tower for the negative or the positive, however you look at it. But I'm telling you, closure is a lesson. And that's something that we have to learn as ourselves, as an individual, to know and understand that no one owes us closure. Because half of the time, when people do things, especially when they do dumb shit or they do stuff to hurt us, to mess us over, to put us in situations like this, they don't even think before they do it. Which is why they have to go into this hangman energy and really think fully and go through an awakening and open up their eyes and see where they went wrong because they don't and there's things that we also do as an individual too where we're wrong and we don't see it from that we don't see it the way they see it you know because when you are all over the place and you are emotional that didn't fix and help the relationship but because when you love someone you can't control your emotions and feelings the king of cups runs away because they don't want to do this extra stuff you know the drama queen and all that but the Queen of Cups is not going to deny or hold back her feelings, her emotions, anything. The King of Cups runs, and then they cry, and then they whine. And then they're like, oh, you did this to me, you did that to me. Why did you do this to me, or why did you make me feel like this? Because they run away from the pain, they run away from the emotions, they run away from the feelings. You are up front with the emotions, the feelings, the pain, everything emotionally as the Queen of Cups. Because why? The Queen of Cups is honest and devoted, so you're true to your emotions and your feelings and how you feel, and you're not going to ever hold back your feelings and emotions. And that's why we have this runner chaser. You chase for their emotions, they run from your emotions. You chase for their feelings, they run from your feelings. You chase for them to be honest and devoted, they run away from being honest and devoted. Because the King of Cups can never control how they feel. They wear the emotions on their sleeve. Okay? They hold all their emotions inside. And then they have these outbursts. They go through these tower moments. Like I said, they whine. They cry. They're all over the place. Or they wait until you guys have a huge argument. And then they're just like, oh, remember six months ago when this, 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 and this. And you made me feel like this, this, and this. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I've already had like ten episodes since then. But that's because you're the Queen of Cups. You can't control your emotions and your feelings. This is emotions here cups are emotions you can't control that and this person sees that and they see that most of the reasons why are they see that most of the reasons why you are crying and upset and emotional and crazy acting and why they called you crazy and delusional and all that and insane is because of what they were doing in the relationship to you and then like i said on top of that your feelings were involved so both of you guys are working in a lower ego. And so when they left, a lot of you guys healed. You got out of this energy. You reclaimed back your power. You balanced. You fixed your emotions and your feelings. And now they're going through that. Okay? And that's why we have temperance and the lover's card here. They can't deny it. Okay? This Knight of Pentacles, they can't deny that they kept this relationship stuck, stagnant. They can't deny that they wanted things their way. And when they didn't get their way, they left and went on to someone else and kept this commitment on hold you guys can be dealing with a virgo or you can be a virgo okay they can't deny that and that's why they got their arms folded because they're sitting there and they're just like damn i was the reason why we're not together i'm the reason why i'm not married to the person that i really love damn this is the reason why this person feels like this this is the reason why when i call or text him or her i'm getting nasty messages or no response or they've met someone else and they see that and they realize that and why? Because under that, look what we have, the Hierophant. They weren't true to the commitment. You wanted a commitment. For some of you guys, you're married to this person. 
and they were focused on so all the other people around them. It could be friends, family, but it's like they were committed to everyone else but you as the hierophant. Okay? This person has a flashlight on top of their head. This person was looking for attention. This person was looking for attention, looking for people. Or they wanted the attention. They wanted the spotlight. And you couldn't have it. Or they weren't giving you the attention, the spotlight, the time, the day, anything. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus as well. And that's why they're sitting here. And, they're, and this person in the Seven of Pentacles, every time I see the Seven of Pentacles, he's holding two pentacles in his hand. And this person is trying to find balance. And they're finding balance because after they're... They look at the situation and at the end of the day, guess what? They turn around and they look. This person has a damn beater and some pants. They don't have nothing else. The clouds are dark. They're in the desert somewhere. No one's around them. They're by themselves and they're thinking. They're like, damn. They're like, and look, this is every, all the seeds you planted, all the pinnacles, everything you invested in this relationship. And where did it get you? Where's the foundation? Look at the four wands. Where's the foundation? Where's the home? There's no home in this picture. There's no home in it. Where's, where's everything at? And they see that. And they're like, damn, this person really invested and put everything into this relationship. And they're like, and we don't have no foundation, nothing to build, nothing to grow, nothing that we can call our own, nothing we can say is ours. Because I made things seem worse than they were with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay? And this Three of Wands will be them coming back to you, wanting to compromise, wanting to get the relationship off the ground. For some of you guys, this is new love coming in because when this person speaks their truth and tell you everything, you're just like, I found new love. I'm balanced now. Look what we got. Ten of Wands, Sagittarian lesson. I can't make this shit up, guys. I cannot make this up. You guys are definitely in a lesson. This person, to break it down, the lesson was you kept giving, 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 planting your seeds, trying to make our force something to grow and it wasn't time for it to grow it was only going to happen in divine timing you couldn't see that that person wasn't paying attention to the fact of what you want what you needed what you were trying to do but it's like like i said the queen of cups the empress you were being devoted loving nurturing you kept trying to bring this foundation together you kept trying to rebuild things only to see it come apart and these are all the pinnacles everything you invested and this person is going back to pick up two of your pinnacles not saying that they're taking nothing from you but they're coming back to the foundation and they're looking at it and they're picking up the pinnacles because you left everything behind for some of you guys or you guys separated homes or whatever you know and they're going back and they're looking and they're picking up these two pinnacles to find balance here okay they're finding balance and as they're finding balance look what they got in their shirt two pinnacles on his shirt and he's finding balance and they're thinking in their mind and their head and they're looking and they're like damn and he has his hand on across his chest and he's like I was the one that she picked or she was the one that I picked to find balance in or find balance within, to build with, to start with, to grow with, to have a foundation with, to build a family, to start a family with. And that's what they're realizing and understanding. So that's why he has his hand on his chest and he's like, damn, I really need to find balance. Or she's like, damn, I really need to find balance in this situation here. Whoever this is, they're like really thinking. They got their hand on their chest and they're like, wow. Like this person, they're like, whoever whoever this is, they're like, damn, she kept our relationship balanced. Or damn, he kept our relationship balanced, stable. They're like, they invested in me. They gave me everything. Gave, gave, gave. To the point where you were burdened and stressed, ten of wands. And you guys were in the lesson. You guys had needed to learn how to be in a relationship where a person was given as much as you were given to the relationship so where there was an equal give and take where there was an equal giving and receiving in the relationship and you gave so much to where it burdened you it stressed you it wore you out you even start blaming yourself for the relationship next car we got queen of pentacles so you did everything you could so as a queen of pentacles you were balanced stable grounded you had the money the empress you were the great mother the empress and the, and the queen of pentacles together is a man's dream come true but that's what you didn't see in yourself when you were with this person. You were just in love with this person here is what it looks like. And you were doing everything you could to keep the relationship together. Only to blame yourself when you weren't the person to fully 100% blame with this ten of wands here. And that was a lesson that you needed to learn. For some of you guys, you guys needed to keep your confidence. Okay? Because you started to feel like, oh, maybe I'm ugly. They don't want me. Maybe I'm not good enough. 
And then with the Queen of Pentacles, for some of you guys, you just kept offering and giving. You're like, okay, maybe if I give them more, offer them more, they'll stay around. They'll understand how I feel. But then it wasn't working. They weren't staying there. The Queen of Cups, you got more emotional. You were in your feelings here. Okay? And at the end of the day, with the Ten of Cups, everything you wanted, everything you put together, everything you planned on having with this person, it's like... The universe left you with everything except for that person with the Ten of Cups. Look, you're by yourself. All the cups are filled. You have everything you want to need, but you don't have them. Okay? So it's like you did all this to make things work, to make them happy, to make the relationship work. Only to be happy, fulfilled, and not with them. And that's what they see. And they see that you went through all of this for them. They see that you kept things balanced. You were there. You gave. You offered. Like I said, you were a great mother. They seen where the love was. And they seen that you were the one that made the relationship happy, made them happy. And what they're also realizing is that you sacrificed your happiness for them, the children, and your foundation and everything else around you. That... When it came down to it, at the end of the day, everyone was happy but you. Even when you guys were getting along, even when things were great, even things, even when you guys were happy, you were still focused on everyone else's happiness but your own happiness with this Ten of Cups here. Okay? So, that is our daily reading. Let's pull some um, Archangel Michael Oracles. And then we'll do our um, Universal Love Oracle. And then I'm out. All right? We have keep your eyes on your target intention. And that's what I just told you guys. You guys are their target intention. They're keeping their eyes on you. They've been watching you. They've been praying for you, manifesting you. They want you back. They see, they realize, they know, they understand. It says, Archangel Michael, thank you for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fear or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. And for some of you guys, you are the person of their dreams. You are their target intention. You are their goal. You are who they're going after, who they want. Okay? And then we have positive thoughts create positive results. And that's what they either been doing. You guys been doing that. For a lot of you guys, you guys been staying positive because you're shifting and you're coming out of this. So like I said... It's not about you guys taking this person back or you moving on, whatever. It's just about this person realizing everything you went through, how they made you feel, what they made you go through. And they're going through that now as we speak. They're wrapping it up because this was a lesson for both of you guys here. What was their lesson? Exactly. And, and this is the crazy thing. And their lesson was to be dedicated, to be committed, to be honest, to be true to the foundation, to be that father figure, to be the husband, the wife. I mean, the husband, it could be the wife, the emperor, empress, it doesn't matter. That's what their lesson was, to stay committed to the foundation. Because for some of you guys, this person you were dealing with, that's what they wanted. They were broken. You know, they were suffering heartache. They could have father issues, mother issues. They wanted a foundation. And when they got what they want, Look what they did. They caused you all the pain that they have been feeling. Or for some of you guys, you know, their lesson was just about being faithful, honest, and true, and dedicated, offering security and stability to the foundation. And they failed to do that. They weren't doing that. The Ten of Wands, they were avoiding responsibilities. They kept everything on you, okay? And they were messing around. They could have been in third-party situations, on and off in a relationship, not really focused. They could have had people interfering in between you guys. And with the Seven of Wands, they were not speaking up. They were not defending the relationship. They weren't defending you. They weren't defending their position. They didn't defend the position that you took over for you and for them in this relationship. So for some of you guys, you had to be the man and the woman. Or for males, you had to be the man and the woman. Okay? Take it how it resonates. And they weren't standing up. They weren't defending you, backing you up. They weren't speaking up. All they were doing was being guarded and argumentative. Or they had their guard up because... Because remember, you were the Queen of Cups. Every time you felt some type of way, you went towards them emotionally. And they were ready to just argue with you rather than fix and face the problems and issues in the relationship with you guys, Seven of Wands. All right? So, 
let me pull this universal oracle before I go off even more about the lessons in which they were going through but put you through and now that's why they're feeling it twice or probably times 10 karma is real and people don't understand it and people don't realize it people don't understand and they just don't realize all right spirit of the universe please give us a universal love oracle for wednesday august the 8th we have dreams that came out okay so let's see what this dreams card is all about Alrighty, i will hold the card up while i read Alrighty, so we have dreams and it says waves of healing energy flow through you as you sleep subconsciously restoring balance and healing unresolved emotional issues like i said queen of cups you guys were overly emotional an issue which most probably stems from a past life is being processed and healed in your dream state so most of you guys this was a past life relationship and it needed to be healed which is why, for some of you guys, whoever this person is, you guys went through a lot of pain. You guys suffered the most with this person here. They put you through any. They put you through the worst pain. They put you through more pain than anybody has ever put you in, in any relationship, any situation, friendship, whatever shit. It doesn't matter. Okay. You may not be aware of the issue that impacts negative, negatively on your life. It manifests through unexplained negative feelings, thoughts, self doubts, and fears. The good news is that there's nothing you need to do anymore. Just be patient. Allow the process to happen without trying to make sense of it. Trust for you will soon be free of the negativity that so often has sabotaged your process in the past in regards to love. A brighter, more confident you soon surfaces. So be ready. So like I told you guys, what does it say right here? It says, just be patient. Allow the process without trying to make sense of it. That's you guys wanting clarity, truth, closure. Some stuff you guys can't make sense of. Some guys, some things we can't understand. Because like I said, when people do stuff, they don't even understand why they do it sometimes. They don't even know why they did it sometimes. And closure is a lesson. Okay? And that's why a lot of you guys are in this ten of wands, but you're, this is a wrap it's over with. It's the 10. That's why you guys were so burdened. Because you guys are trying to get understanding. You guys are trying to make sense of it. You guys are trying to get clarity. You were trying to get truth. You were trying to get closure. And you were, uh, every time they did something, you're like, why are they doing this? Why are they treating me like this? Why do they make me feel this way? When are they going to stop doing this? And it wasn't... And I'm not going to say it like, oh, they needed to do it to shape you into who you are today. But I will say if they didn't do it, for a lot of you guys, it wouldn't have shaped you into the person you are now and today. So when you do move forward, if it's in this relationship or with someone new, you know to what? How to control your emotions and feelings. You know how to make yourself happy to the cups and put yourself first. Okay? Because you can put yourself first and still keep your love life, your foundation, and your children happy without you not being happy, not getting no happiness out of it. Okay, like I said, Queen of Cups, you know when to turn this on and off, how to balance, how to center your emotions and your feelings in love in general and not create codependency. With the Empress, you know how to be loving, nurturing, and caring when it caught it off, when someone is doing that to you and how to respond or how much you should love and nurture someone and care for someone because the Empress is also very creative. She's very abundant, you know. Like I said, she's an entrepreneur. She's a mother. You have more than to just worry about loving them, nurturing them, taking care of them, making sure they're all right. What about you? What about the children? But at the end of the day, you can't forget about yourself first. Okay? Because as the empress, when you put yourself first and you invest in yourself and you heal and you're beautiful and you're confident, you release fears, you don't have any self-doubts, you're happy, your emotions are in line. Guess what? You're in a high vibration and no one can come towards you, stop you, mess with you or anything. And you also learn as a queen of pentacles not to give in financially, you know, and you also learn that 
in order to keep a relationship balanced and stable and grounded that you don't have to be the only person that's doing it. Okay? And that you don't always have to be that perfect person for somebody as the Queen of Pentacles because that's what she does. She takes care of all the bills. You know what I'm saying? She makes sure everybody's stuff is taken care of. The foundation is clean. Everything is taken care of. Cooks, all of that. Okay? So instead of making sure you cook five days a week and dinner is done at 5 p.m. because they get home at 5 10, 5 10 and they want a hot meal, let their ass come home and make a hot dog one day. Let them go to McDonald's through the drive-thru. Okay? I was just on the app the other day getting me a um, caramel frat. McDoubles are a dollar all summer. Tell them, use the McDonald's app. Go get you a dollar McDouble. Go get you a dollar large fry. Okay? I'm not cooking today. I'm not going to be balanced today. I'm not keeping things grounded and stable. I'm focusing on myself. I'm at the hair salon, the nail salon. I'm staying beautiful. I'm writing my business plan. I'm doing what I need to do. Okay? I'm in my emotions, my feelings. And when I come home, everyone's going to be happy because why? I'm happy. All right? And if they really love you and they understand you and they appreciate you and they're really the emperor keeping things together, stable, solid, offering security and stability, you know what they're going to say? It's cool, babe. Don't worry. I order takeout. You want Chinese? What do you want? Or, you know, me and the boys, me and the kids, we'll eat hot dogs tonight. Or, babe, don't worry about it. You know, I'll, I'll grab me something to eat on the way home. Because, again, why? You were too honest and devoted to this person. And they took advantage of that. They took you for granted. Six of wands. And they see that. They ne there never was no thank yous or anything. Let's pull some romance angels because I forgot. And then I'm out for real. Because I want to get these personal readings done. But I owed you guys, right? Spirit of the Universe, please give me some romance angels. We have attraction. And that's what they don't like. Okay? Attraction. It says, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Because you guys are enjoying life. You guys are enjoying the moment. You guys are just being happy. You're vibrating high. You're within yourself. You know, you're thinking about yourself. You let them go. You ignore them. They're going through some awakening. And for some of you guys, if this is a past life connection, if you guys have a spiritual connection, they can feel that you shifted and you're not dealing with them. They know it. They feel it. Because they were the ones who were pulling your energy in the past. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. For some of you guys, you know... You guys met right away. There was an instant attraction. That chemistry is still there. Even if you guys have been broken up for a year, five years, ten years, if they touch your arm, they'll probably come in their pants, okay? Because the chemistry is there and it's real. And the love is there and it's real. And they know it. And they can't hide it no more. And like I said, with the seven of cups, they done already tested everyone and been with all these other people. And they see that nothing, no one is like you. We have very soon... And that's what they're about to do because they already did that. They've already decided, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And they're hoping that you're going to respond to that. And then we have, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So some of you guys feel like it's not safe to love. It is safe to love. Like I said, you don't have to go back with this person. You guys can have new love or new love is coming. But don't let how they treated you or how they made you feel block yourself from allowing your true love to come into your life here. Okay? And then we have to get into know each other. And that's what I was telling you guys. Some of you guys need counseling. You guys need help. You guys are, that person does, or you, both of you guys do, to be honest, for some of you guys. Okay? And then for others of you, it's either them or it's you. Okay? So with this attraction card, we have the chariot. Yeah. The chariot. You guys can be dealing with a cancer. But if not, it's like they hate that you're moving forward. Because you're not lacking direction no more. It's like you're not stuck, you're not delayed, you got up, you're feeling attractive again, you're beautiful, you're back into yourself. Like I said, you're the empress, you're back feeling beautiful, confident, you're doing you, your head and heart is balanced, you're moving forward, you know, you're not worried about them, when they don't like that, all right? We have chemistry, the star, like I told you, for some of you guys, you guys were destined meant to be, you guys just needed to go through this separation and this breakup, they don't want to suffer this loss, for some of you guys, you're dealing with an Aquarius. But like I said, if this person was to come back and you were to touch their arm, it's a wrap. It's over with. The chemistry is just that deep, okay? For some of you guys, they dream, they fantasize all of that about you now without you even being around, okay? And then we have very soon. 
completely decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Five of Swords, see? They're trying to let go of the past, but this is them on the ground with all the swords in the ground, and they're going through something mentally, okay? They're having this, they're going through this battle mentally within their mind, so they're having like some inner battle, but it's mental, and they're thinking about everything, how the relationship ended, the harsh words that were said, like I said, all the things that they did, and they want to turn this around. It's like for some of you guys, they want to value you and appreciate you and love you and come to you and do things right. Five of Swords. Yeah, because we have the Death card. Like I told you, you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have a lot of Scorpio energy here, but they're going through a transformation or they did. Or the Death card is letting me know that this old way or how they were in the past, that's dead, it's died out, it's done with, it's a wrap, it's over with. Yeah, we have the Two of Wands. They're a new man, they're a new woman, they're changed. They're ready for a new path, a new journey, a new life, a new beginning. They want you to move forward with them. They're ready now. Okay? And the sun is right behind them. All right? So that is your daily reading. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.